In this video, let's learn how to use VLOOKUP from basics to advanced. So I have various tables, small tables here to explain in detail. So let's start with the first table. In the first table, we have the name. So I want date of joining. So in this table, we have the name, city, phone number, address, and then date of join. So now using the name, let's extract the date of joining from this table. For this, I use VLOOKUP function. So let me apply the formula here uh, is equal to VL. And the moment I type VL, we get the VLOOKUP function here. So from keyboard, I press tab. And the first argument is VLOOKUP. So in this case, the name will be the VLOOKUP. So let me select the name, comma. And the second argument is table array. So I need to select the entire table from where the data should be derived. So let me select the entire table, comma. And then we have the third argument is column index number. So the column index number will be, so since we started uh, the data from uh, name until date of joining, so name will be the first column, city name will be the second one, phone number will be the third one, address will be the fourth one and the fifth one will be the date of joining so now we want date of joining here so in this case i press 5 in case instead of date of joining if it is address i would have used 4 the column index number then comma and the next argument is whether we need approximate match or uh, exact match so in this case i want exact match so i can use false F A L S C close parenthesis press center. Now you can see here A B C D E F. So for the date of joining is this. So here I can extend this formula. I just double click on this small uh, arrow or the box. Double click here. Now the data date of joining for each employee we can we got this from this table. Now let's go to the next table. I apply again the same formula is equal to we look up and then look up value will be again uh, the name comma look a table array will be the entire table here comma and the column index number is five because we know on date of joining five comma and now I want approximate exact match so I need to use false or instead of false you can also use zero zero is for false or exact match and one is for true so I use zero close parenthesis press center and now let me extend this formula now you can see here the for first three we got the data and the fourth one it is coming as not applicable so even though we have data so here uh, B C D E F G we can see for this employee the date of joining is available but still it is not uh, the result is not coming and the reason is let me press F2 from the keyboard to understand this formula and now you can see here the first uh, in the first cell the everything looks fine because the we are looking for ABC and the entire table is selected and if I go to the second one if I press F2 from the keyboard looks here same but here if you see in the previous cell the in the formula the data was selected from name until uh, row number 11 but here it has moved from name it started from 3 row number 3 uh, until row number 12 so this is because we have not locked the table again if I go to the next cell you can see again it has further uh, come down by one cell and again if I go to the next one you can see the first two data is not selected for here the B C D E F G you can see it is in row number 4 and date of joining is available here since the table is not selected um, uh, hence you don't have the result here to avoid this issue what we need to do is we need to lock the cells for this let me delete this is equal to we look up and name I select comma and then table array so let me select the entire table here and then I need to lock this cell by pressing F4 from the keyboard the moment I press F4 from the keyboard here in, in, in front of B, in front of 2, likewise in front of F and uh, uh, in front of 11, you will get the dollar symbol. Let me press F4 from the keyboard and then comma, column index number is 5, comma, and then 0, press enter. 
and now let me extend this formula now you can see we got the result let me press f2 from the keyboard you can see even though the formula here is extended further down the table is fixed and now you can get the result now in the next table again i use the vlookup function then lookup value is same and then table array now instead of using the table like this what i will do is i will select the entire column so when i select the entire column then i no need to lock any cells here so let me show you here comma and the column index number the third argument is uh, 3 uh, sorry 5 comma and then 0 close parenthesis press enter and let me extend this formula now you can see I did not lock the cell but still I got the result and the reason is I have selected the entire column instead of locking the specific table. Now next one is uh, avoid message uh, not applicable here uh, I will again use the VLOOKUP the first name and then let me select the entire table and press F4 from the keyboard to lock comma and then the date of sorry the column index number on the uh, date of joining is in the column number 5 let me press 5 comma close parenthesis press enter and let me extend this formula here you can see it the result is not applicable for ABC because we don't have this ABC here so to avoid not applicable what I use what I can do is I just add something uh, before we look up that is if and uh, if I get some uh, error uh, I can use this third option if now so after this uh, formula comma I just use uh, I start with a double quote and I will write this as I will write as not uh, available close parenthesis press center and now let me extend this formula now you can see instead of not applicable whenever we don't have data you it will you will get a result of not available now next one is a different sheet so we will use this same again we look up comma but uh, if you want to get the information from the different sheet in the same workbook so we have sheet one here so here again I go the and select the complete table uh, then I press F4 from the keyboard comma then 5 comma 0 close bracket press enter and let me extend this formula now if you want to have if you want to extract the information from the different book we look up and again I select this data and I go to the next sheet that is uh, we have here so here I select the entire table now you can notice here when I select from if, if I want to extract a report from the different book you can see here I did not press F4 from the keyboard to lock the cell but it automatically uh, locks this when you are getting the information from the different uh, book comma and then I use phi close bracket press center and let me extend this formula the result works and now the next one is uh, we look up will never work on the left for example I have a city name here so where we have city name in column C and if I want to get the name from this table uh, so we cannot use the we look up on the left side so if I use like we look up and if I take the uh, city name as lookup value and then from this table if I select this and then I cannot go back on the left side it will never work because even though the column index number if I take the column name as first and name as second if I press 2 close bracket 0 press enter the result will not work this is the one of the limitation for VLOOKUP where we cannot get the information on the left side so and the next case is return first match I will press if we look up again comma and then I select the entire table comma uh, before that I lock this cell by pressing F4 from the keyboard even for this comma again 5 
close bracket press center and let me action this formula now you can see we have two names a b c d e f repeated again a b c d e f repeated and if you come to this table you have a b c d e f and date of joining is 078 and we also have at the bottom a b c d e f and the date of joining is different so for two names we have different joining date however when uh, in we look up when we get that uh, when we use this formula it will always return the first match so the first match in this table is, is 0708 and that is the result even though we have two names here it always returns with the first uh, match then uh, other one is like uh, we look up is not a case sensitive so you have the names here in the capital letters and here we have names in the small letter it still works because it's not a case sensitive let me use the formula we look up uh, look up value will be the name let me select the entire table and then i press f4 from the keyboard comma and then i use 5 for the column comma zero close parenthesis and let me extend this formula you can see the result uh, you get it 